You know, as a generation, we're information technology led, which has focused us onto the screen. We get more and more focus onto virtual reality goggles, taking us further and further away from reality. I think it's really concerning because there is a lot of learning in these things. My name's David Dutton. I'm the Makerspace facilitator and physics teacher here at uh, Bellarmine College Prep. This is an extension of our brain and not many people realize that. And so our only relationship with experience is a keyboard, a joystick, uh, a mouse. There's something missing. Tactile learning is extremely important. Um, so to have a game such as Beasts of Balance, it's really important to go from that screen um, to a, 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 a physical product. The problem maybe with modern video games and things is that you're just sitting by yourself in front of a computer screen, while at the same time um, old board games sometimes are not uh, so appealing to our, a newer generation. I think this is a really good middle ground because it's using an iPad and stuff that's fun, innovative, has cool colors, movement, things like that, but also combines like the old-fashioned skill and like family fun of like Jenga. You know, I took the, the game home and I was playing it with my, my family after dinner, and so we had a good hour, I would say, getting immersed in the game. And I was commenting at the time, I said, I would like things to, to fit a little bit better. And then coming back here and then finding that, yeah, actually they do. You kind of see all these different intricacies that are actually in the game. It's almost as if you've got hidden Easter eggs. And the coolest part, I think, is that it uses both an app and there's a physical aspect. So it's not just like a board game where you like you move a piece forward on a board and then it pops up on a computer. It's not like that because there's a physical skill to being able to stack the pieces and that physical skill also translate into an app where there's other forms of um, gameplay. It's a trial and error game. And with trial and error, you sometimes get failures. Within the game, you've got seven seconds to rebalance. It's a perfect way of doing it because there's, there's no real penalty. It, it's executed really well because, you know, okay, it's just fallen down. Let's restack it. Let's, let's move forward. Let's try and make it happen again. And then there's, you know, maybe a good result or maybe a bad result. And there's always a replay button. But it's nice that you can have a replay button on a screen to actually replay in physical reality.